This is your splits routine. My favorite stretches to get yourself into the splits. Yes, it's possible no matter where you're starting from. I'm gonna guide you all the way through. And I'm Action Jacqueline. This is my YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that to support my channel. In this video, we're gonna be using a bolster. This is my favorite one from Brentwood Home to support our stretches and their new mats that they just came out with. I've got an amazing discount down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start here with the bolster in the middle of our mat. If you don't have a bolster, grab a pillow, something to support you, okay? And then we're gonna place the hands onto the ground. Take a nice big inhale in, just take a few cat cows to just get connected into your body. So I recommend doing this after your workout. This is definitely not a pre-workout stretch, okay? These are gonna be deep stretches to change your muscles and change your flexibility. So do this after a workout or at the end of the day, all right? Take a nice big inhale in and let's press it all the way back into a downward facing dog. Hold it here, hands are wide and then just pedal out the feet, opening up the legs, breathing in and out through the nose. Good. Just noticing where you're at right now in your body. Every day is usually a little bit different. And so our practice is not ever getting attached one way or the other, right? Just really being present and open to whatever our body is feeling like today. All right, now let's lift the right leg up. And then exhale, you're gonna step it all the way forward over the bolster, make it all the way down there. And we're just gonna rock back and forth right here. Half splits to low splits, low lunge. Keep going. Nice, now hold it back right here. just like this and just take a little twist over onto the outside of the leg take a big inhale in and then release that out so now you're gonna let the hips come all the way forward and they just kind of situate themselves onto the bolster so that's why I like having the bolster here because it just supports your hips and let's lower down onto our elbows if this is too much then just stay up here on your hands all right so you're just going to allow your body to relax deeply right here. And your goal is to release tension. Sometimes we hold on to it without knowing. So your goal is to see if there's any tension going on. Send the breath to that area and allow the body to actually release. It's time to let go. There's really no need, or you can even ask yourself, is there a need for me to hold on to this tension right now? And if the answer is no, then just let it go. Now 
come on up. Keep those hips right where they are on the bolster. Left hand is on the floor. You're gonna reach around and grab for that back foot. So this is an amazing stretch for the quad. Also helps to open up the front of the hip flexors. And so maybe this is good for you. Maybe you wanna go down a little bit and take it deeper. You can choose. We're gonna be here for about a minute. So get comfy. Take one more big deep breath in and release that out. Okay, so coming up here, we're gonna use the bolster for our splits here. So you're gonna just slide yourself forward and you're going to go into your best splits right here. And I want you to really focus on squaring off the hips as much as possible, right? So not open like this. This back knee is facing down to the floor. Okay, so that's the biggest thing. And this is a great way to make your splits accessible and to progress. So you can place the hands here or you can come down a little bit further onto the floor. And again, just make sure that that back knee is square down. I even like to tuck the toes under to make sure that my hips are in the correct positioning. So just hold here and breathe. <laughs> Splits is really a journey of patience and just allowing yourself to be present, slowing down. Sometimes it's hard for us to slow down, which is understandable. Sometimes when you do less, it helps you do more later. So that's what right now is all about. come on up bring that foot in nice and slow and steady Whew. and then come back to all fours feeling the difference now of the right side and the left side the body probably feels a lot more open right feels good okay so let's do everything we just did on the other side starting up here in our downward facing dog and let's lift it up right away inhale in and step it forward to the top of the mat Place the back knee down, and we're just gonna rock front to back. Keeping the hips nice and square. Thinking about lengthening through the spine, okay? So to not round your spine, you're better off trying to straighten out your spine and keep the leg bent. And then you can work your leg straight and keep the spine straight. splits back right here. You can either place the hands down or you can lower the elbows down, whatever feels more comfortable for you.
take one more big deep breath in, come on up and let's take a twist just for a little bit, just to see where we're at. I like to do this to kind of square off my hips even more, open up the outside of the leg and release, good. So let's lunge it forward now, bringing the hip onto the bolster, nice and secure there. And so you can either stay here or you can bring the elbows all the way down to the floor. So your breath is going to be key with your stretching because the breath does signal to your body that it's okay and safe to release. So make sure that you're also feeding your body with those kinds of positive thoughts, that it is okay to release, that it is okay to let go, and that it's comfortable. So just relax. stretch right here those quads get really tight so you may have one side that's a little bit open more open than the other side so you can either stay here on the hand or you can take it all the way down to your elbow the bolster right here to square off those hips so I even like to do even though I can do the full splits I still like to stretch here on the bolster like this for my splits because it does help to really square off the hips and I'm so turned out from dance that when I started squaring off my hips I'll admit it was like oh wow this is actually a lot harder <laughs> so I like to do this I always go back to the basics I always recheck my form so that's why I like doing this as well. slowly slowly come on up and then we're gonna do one more stretch for our middle splits and so splits is a journey it's a practice I do have a whole splits course called splits 30 that gets you down into the splits in 30 days so I'll link that down below too it's amazing so many people get the splits it's amazing I love seeing 
all the results. So, okay, so you're gonna place the, the foot on the bolster like this, and you're just going to rock back and forth, okay? So you're gonna feel that inner thigh working a lot. Opening up. Good, and then place the hand down. You're gonna twist up and place it down. Actually, let's bring the elbow down. So you're gonna do a nice little twist and back in. Notice how the leg really has to open up. Good. All right, and then let's lean it back and we're just gonna stay right here. So hold to this stretch. You're gonna feel the inner thigh working. Get yourself to a good, comfortable position and just relax. It's the biggest thing is you wanna make sure that you're not holding on to tension, using your breath. big inhale in and release. Let's take this bolster to the other side and do the same thing right here. So the foot is going to come onto the top of the bolster just like that. Let me move my phone out of the way. Okay, we're gonna rock it back here and up and rock and up, good. Place the left elbow down onto the floor, and then you're gonna reach up, feel that inner thigh open. Oh, that feels so good. Thread it through, open it up again. Nice job. All right, now let's just sit it back. Hold it here, feel that thigh open, the inner thigh release. Noticing how you feel in your body and your legs. Bring your hands to heart center. Bow your head towards your heart as a symbol of gratitude for your beautiful body. And just knowing that every day that you show up and practice, you get better and you get stronger. Amazing job. I'm so proud of you. Continue to practice. Do this video again and again. And if you want to take it further, go ahead and check out my program, Splits 30. And then if you don't have a bolster yet or this amazing mat, check out the link down below. I've got a 20% off coupon for you. And all right, that was an amazing practice. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Love you so much. Bye.